Hey guys, how's it going? Um, sorry about the uh, the crappy video for this video I'm going to make. I'm actually using my tablet. I don't have my camera with me. and I, I just really wanted to make a video of my uh, bushcraft survival slash bug out kit um, that I made. I made this over the winter. Um, I didn't have a lot of money so I got the... I started out buying really cheap stuff. And then I kind of started going towards the lesser inexpensive stuff, but more durable stuff that's actually going to last. So uh, I'm going to do my best to try to make this video with my tablet. Um, the lighting's not very good. I don't know uh, how good this is going to turn out, but I'll just quick get started here. Um, real quick on my person, I carry this fold-out um, pocket knife. Um, I don't know how long the blade is, but uh, it's got a glass breaker on the bottom and a seatbelt cutter on there. It's very sharp. It's got a serrated edge on there. Um, so I carry that in my pocket. Also on my belt, I carry my GI canteen cup. I think this is, I don't know how much water this is, it's just plastic. And then on the bottom, it's got the um, GI stainless steel cup. I use this basically to drink coffee. I have cooked stuff in this as well. And then also on this, there's a little pouch here. And in here I have a multi-tool that I carry. It's got all sorts of tools. It's got, um, it's got a can opener, a little knife, screwdrivers. A uh, little pair of scissors. It's actually, for how cheap this was, it actually works pretty good. I've actually used it a couple times and I kind of like it. So I carry that on my belt. Uh, also, my main bushcraft knife that I carry is the Condor Bush Lore. Um, for, I got this on Amazon for $35. It comes with this really nice leather sheath. Um, it's a good knife, real thick. I really like this knife a lot. Um, it's uh, definitely my, one of my favorite items I got here. So I carry that on me as well. Um, I had, for a backup knife, I had the Gerber um, Bear Girls Survival Life. It's got the, a ferro rod, the whistle, and a sharpening stone on the, on the back and everything. But I actually don't like the serrated edge. I don't carry that as much. So anyway, my actual pack is an Everest Digital Camel. Um, it's got, it's a bucket style bag. It's got a lot of, it, you know, it, it, uh, it pulls tight. It's got a clip around the side. It's got two pouches on the side. On the back, it's got a pouch right here on the front for easy access. The back is really nice. It's got real padded. Um, it's got rings here. This clips over your chest, and then this is goes around your waist. So it's actually it's padded here too. So for I got this on Amazon for right around forty dollars, and uh, it's not a bad kit. I can fit a lot of my gear in here. So um, anyway, I'll start kind of on the outside, I guess. Right here on the outside, this clips in. And then this you can tighten or loosen this right here at the bottom. Um, I carry a, I think this is an 8 by, I want to say an 8 by 6 or something like that. It's a, just a poly camo tarp, but it's thick. It's not one of the cheap ones. The garments have reinforced plastic. I use this for my main shelter. Um, it works good. Sometimes I'll bring a bigger tarp and use that to lay on the ground. Um, on, my fr on the front here I have my hatchet. I just have this pole thing and there's two small loops that this goes in. And so my hatchet slides right in there perfect, and then I can pull this tight and this tight as well. Um, this is just kind of a, uh, it's an old axe. It's a cheaper one. It's got a leather sheath on it. Um, I had to put some Gorilla Tape on it because it was starting to fall apart. My grandpa gave me this knife, and it, so it's pretty old. Um, it's starting to get a little loose. I'm going to have to get it rehandled probably, but the actual blade, it's, so the axe itself is really sharp. I keep real good care of it. I just sharpened it and put some... Uh, some oil on the blade and on the wood to kind of protect that as well on the sheath. I put oil on that to protect that as well. So that's for the two outside, oh I'm sorry, I got one more compartment here. Um, so inside here, let's see here, I got, um, I got just some cheap rags I use for cleaning and wiping my hands off. Um, I have a plastic spoon, plastic fork, and then this is just kind of like a I don't know, you could use this for cooking or, you know, get a frog or whatever. I have to carry that. Um, these are my Huntworth gloves. These are really thick and warm and they got a plastic on them so they're real grippy. I love those. Um, I have a stainless steel water bottle. This is my second one. I carry both the one on my belt and this one in my pack. You can also boil water with that. This is one of my favorite tools, probably one of my best tools. It's the Baco Laplander folding saw. And it comes with a little uh, loop on the end there. You can put your hand around it so you don't lose it. Uh, you know, it's it's a nice nice saw. I, I, I can I can cut so much firewood with this and such thick logs so fast. I just love this. 
uh, anyone getting a folding saw, get this. Everybody on YouTube recommends this, and it's because it works so good. Uh, that's all I got in that pouch. Um, let's see here in the top pouch. This is stuff I keep in here for easy access. Uh, I have a cotton bandana. I use that for whatever. I mean, you know cotton comes in handy. Uh, toilet paper. Uh, I have a map of the area that I usually uh, do some camping and bushcrafting and hunting on. So I keep a map of the area. Uh, this is just a candle. I just, I don't know, I carry that just for whatever. Uh, my headlamp. This is just the one I got on Amazon for, I think I paid like 15 bucks. It, you know, you can keep it straight. It clicks down. It's got uh, one, two, three, and then it's got a flashing red on the bottom. It's a nice little headlamp. It's actually really strong. AAA batteries, two AAA, I believe. It's nice. Um, I have some dish soap in here. I carry dish soap for cleaning my my cookware. Uh, this is my uh, one of my fire kits. I keep um, charred cloth in here, and this stuff works great. Uh, I have cotton cotton balls soaked with Vaseline in here as well, but I have uh, some bunch of charred cloth in here, and then these cotton balls are soaked in Vaseline. So. Good little fire kit right there. I love that. Uh, let's see. I have a backup mini mag light. It's actually pretty bright. It's not LED. It's it's old. I've had this for years, but it works great. Good little backup. Um, I have a ferrocium rod here with a striker. This is my main fer. I use this to start fires pretty much every time. Uh, I got a Sharpie marker. I don't know why I have that in there, to be honest with you. Um, I have a cheapy little compass. Real cheap. Just you know, I just bought it just to have it. I know the area very well that I usually go. If I was going to go somewhere I don't know very well, I would probably bring um, a better compass. This is just a little mini light. You just you know, it's just a little cheapy backup. You know, if I need to look for something in my bag, it's right there. That's it for the top compartment. Now for the main compartment here, it's got two buckles. It just comes off like this, and then it's it's the it's a bucket style. Sorry, I got caught on something. It just pulls out like this, and then everything just kind of goes in here real well. So, right here I have a uh, UV thing. This thing folds out, you know, probably about five feet almost. And it, I use this. I could use it underneath me to reflect body heat, but you, normally in my lean-to, I put it above me, and it reflects the heat back down onto me. I always carry that with me. Um, oop, this is a uh, little grill I use for cooking. I just set this right on the fire and. I can put, I can cook two things at once, boil water, cook bacon, whatever. Um, this is my sewing kit. I got this for like a dollar at a dollar store. It's got all sorts of stuff in it. Uh, little scissors, a ruler, it's got needles, thread, uh, it's got extra buttons, it's got safety pins. It's, it's a really good kit for a dollar, you can't beat that. Uh, I carry this container. Um, sometimes I'll scramble eggs and dump it in there so I can do eggs and just pour it right out. Um, sometimes I'll do a bannock mix in here and then just dump this right into the pan from here. I can also mix stuff, put water in there as well. Uh, I got some zip ties. That's always good for helping build a camp or shelter. Um, this is another one of my fire kits. I just keep in this little uh, cheapy uh, metal tin. I got this for 50 cents at a thrift store. And this is actually full of birch bark. I mean, to the brim. I crammed it in there. I also have a Bic lighter in here. And then I have a couple pieces of char cloth in there as well. So the, the lighter is another backup, you know, with the birch bark. Um, I carry a bag of uh, baby wipes. That helps to go with the toilet paper. I mean, it helps keep you cleaner when you're out in the woods. You know, everything's dirty. This is just a 9 by 12 plastic drop cloth. This is good for, um, you can put it in front of your lean-to for a super shelter to help keep and trap that heat in there. Also, you could use it for a footprint for a tent or just underneath where you're laying for an extra layer barrier to keep you dry. Um, let's see here. I have also have a couple real big zip ties. These are real heavy-duty ones. I just carry those for whatever. Um, this is a huge bag of um, paracord. It's full of paracord. I got a bunch of poly. This is just poly rope. Also, I keep in here a huge piece of cotton, and I can cut off of this and make char cloth, which is what I use to make the char cloth. Also, I can use this for cleaning my guns. Um, I can clean the outside and the inside with this. This is just a great piece of cloth. I got this for 25 cents at the same thrift store I got that tin. I mean, look how big that is. It is just awesome. 
just a big old piece of cloth and this is just perfect for cleaning outside the guns too it just comes in handy for everything and then also inside of here I have uh, I have a 40 gallon trash bag um, and just a bunch of rope I do have uh, 550 paracord in here as well uh, and then I also have straps these, these straps right here I carry straps in there and the paracord and just all sorts of you know can't always can always have enough of that this is one of my this is my main cook kit right here uh, I got this on Amazon for I think fifteen dollars so you just pull it out it's got a smaller container there you can boil in with whatever and then it's got a bigger one that I use pretty much every time I boil water cook and stuff inside of here um, I wasn't gonna show you guys the food stuff I bring but I always keep this in here I have a wet wipe salt and pepper and a little um, film canister or whatever this is it's just a mix of salt and pepper uh, just a packet of country gravy uh, this is some Cajun seasoning big old bag of brown sugar I use this for my uh, oatmeal and then I have a big bag of uh, soft rising flour in here as well um, I could use that to make bannock with the brown sugar and the flour so that comes in handy that's my main cook kit um, right here is just a couple uh, washcloths I use for cleaning wiping my face wiping my body off wipe my hands whatever um, and here I have this is to uh, kind of band it together I have an emergency poncho I have two hand warmers I have a bag full of rubber bands uh, rubber bands always come in handy it seems like and then I have about six um, just empty backup Ziploc baggies Zip, Ziploc baggies always come in handy I got about six of them in there and I just rubber banded it so it's a little bit smaller um, let's see here Here's one of my kits that's kind of got stuff flying out of it here. Uh, this is just a pouch that I carry, just an empty Crown Royal pouch. Uh, this is a tong I use to flip bacon or whatever. I can grab pots with this. Um, I carry a little knife. Uh, it's a full tang knife. I got this for 25 cents at a uh, at that same thrift store. It's actually stainless steel as well. Uh, so it's a good little knife for cutting up your food, whatever. Uh, I got a piece of steel wool in there. I got some fishing line. Um, and here I got a bunch of pills. I got like echinacea for to boost your immune system, Advil, Tums, cough drops. Um, I got a, some allergy pills in there as well. Um, this is just an empty container with a bunch of Gorilla Tape wrapped around it. That's a lot of Gorilla Tape on there. Gorilla Tape always comes in handy. This is my main utensils. It's just a fold-out spoon. It's got a fold-out spoon fork and then it's also got a knife and a can opener on there as well and that that's just real small and compact uh, this is a uh, Dickies brand but it works good uh, and then in here I also have more pills I have like more Advil stuff like that um, uh, actually I have uh, anti-diarrhea medicine in there as well just you know you can, it's always good to have um, I have a big ball of twine this always comes in handy big ball of twine and then this is my uh, goes with my fishing line this is my fishing kit right here I have sinkers hooks uh, all sorts of stuff in here swivels and stuff so that comes in handy all that just kind of I just kind of throw all this in that pouch Let's see here this is more cooking stuff I have um, Camille tea or however you say it um, that it's really good stuff it, it uh, it'll get you if you're sick and then I have beef uh, boroline cubes like I don't know how to say that right for soup and stuff and then I have a coffee filter in there for filtering whatever and then I have some more uh, wipes alcohol wipes for wiping your hands off um, here I have another fire kit believe it or not I could never have enough combustion and here I have Vaseline soap cotton balls I have fat wood at the bottom I got a box of matches I have a big piece of steel wool and then I have another lighter in there as well so there's another fire kit um, uh, this is just an old cell phone pouch. I keep an extra flashlight, shoelaces, aluminum foil, uh, clothesline pins. I got uh, some lens wipes for my glasses. I have a thing of chapstick in there. And then here I have uh, AAA batteries, a bunch of AAA batteries for backup for all my flashlights. And then I have some CarMax in there. Uh, I have a big bag of steaks here, uh, plastic steaks and metal steaks. I keep those, those are always nice to have. Big old roll of Camo duct tape. Uh, two bungee cords in there, those always come in handy. Uh, I have a wooden spoon that I use for cooking. Uh, this is my buck knife, I use this for uh, skinning, it's very, very, very sharp. 
Uh, my dad bought this knife in 1986, and it just is so sharp. Uh, this is uh, he. Hand, I got this handed down for me, and this is what I use for carving: squirrels, rabbits, bucks, whatever. I can do anything with this knife. It's very sharp. Uh, it's kind of a backup knife, I guess you could say. Uh, this is my little tool kit. I carry all my tools in here. Let's see. I'm just going to dump this out make it easier. Um, I carry a mirror. You could use this for signaling if you get something stuck in your eye. I also have contacts, so that comes in handy. I have a multi-tool here. It's a real small one. It's got pliers. Uh, it's got scissors, screwdriver, can opener. Uh, it's got two different files, so I can file lots of stuff. A couple little knives. Just comes in real handy. This is actually a Sheffield brand. I don't know. Sheffield's a brand. I have a little cheap little military can opener. Electrical tape. Uh, another backup flashlight. This is an LED. Uh, a lighter. And then I have uh, fingernail clippers with a little lanyard on there to, you know, whatever. Grab them easier. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Oh, and then I have, um, this is my med kit. I have in here, I got this little container for like a dollar. Um, and I have gauze, band-aids, uh, uh, neosporin. Um, I have the tape that, you know, the, the medical tape that really sticks. Alcohol wipes, cough drops, uh, peroxide. I have a little bottle of peroxide in there. So this is a great medical kit. It's got pretty much everything you need except maybe real big pieces of gauze. It's got small pieces. This is just a thing with sugar in it. I usually keep this full for my coffee. Big old thing of of um, of sugar. This is really nice. Actually, you can unscrew the top and it's got a little holes in it so you can actually sprinkle it right in there. It's just really nice little container. It's very thick. This thing is not going to break. Um, so that's everything that I have in my kit here. Um, so I, that's mainly what I carry. I strap my uh, my, sometimes if I use this pack, I'll strap my sleeping bag to the bottom of it with these sleeping bag straps. Um, and then at the top, I fold this up as tight as I can get it. This is my Thermal Rest Ridge Rest sleeping pad. Therm the um, Thermal Rest, this is a great sleeping pad. I love this sleeping pad. It's awesome. Uh, I actually have a Gerber machete that I normally don't carry this, but it's nice because it's got a big saw on the other side of it. I mean, this is a long saw. So you got the machete and the saw. This is real thick, good rubbery grip. It's got a handle on it. I love this, uh, this machete. This is a very nice machete. And then I don't normally carry this, but in the winter sometimes I do. It'll come in handy. It's just the old school military. It's got the thing I could clip this on my belt if I wanted. It's just a shovel. So this comes out. You know, you can tighten it down. This is kind of cool to have. You know, it does come in handy to have a shovel. There's no doubt about that. So anyway, and then I also have this container. It's just a metal container. I got this for 25 cents at that thrift store. And um, I was thinking about putting some of my items in here so to, to make it more compact so I don't have just a bunch of items thrown in there. And I want to show you one more thing real quick. I also have this. Um, this is a just a seat that folds out like this. I got this for a dollar at that thrift store. And I usually will strap this on the back of my bag. Um, you know, I also have a frame backpack, like a hiking backpack that's got a frame. It's meant to strap everything onto it. So if I'm going out for more than three days, I'll bring that. This is usually an overnighter or a two day, um, but it's set up for survival kick long term. Um, so that's everything I got in my pack. I, I'm not going to show my clothing or what I bring for food or anything like that. I'll do another video on that. You know, I, 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 I have some wool stuff I use. But anyway, I just want to make that video, and uh, I hope you guys liked it. And uh, we'll uh, see you guys later.